So now if we just want to make one of these shapes, if I want to, I can click one of these and just move it out here. And with this one selected, you're going to see we have a new icon here. If you hover over it, it's called Snapshot 3D. Now again, you can use uh, this gizmo here. You can snap it to the middle of this, and then you can click on the outside of this, and you can snap it to the middle of this object that you're working with. And then if you hold down Shift, it'll actually move along that axis as you move it up. Now if I want to make this shape, uh, first you want to get the right size, so you want to like scale it up or scale it down. And then if you just hit this Snapshot 3D, and then you do Shift Z to get rid of Spotlight, you're going to see, if we turn on Polyframe, we actually have a new object in our scene that was created using Spotlight. If we go up here to our subtool here, you're going to see we have our original cube, we have our new object, and that new object is the exact width of that original cube. So let's go ahead and turn Polyframe off, let's hit Z. Let's take this exact alpha right here, and we'll move it down. Again, hold down Shift, and this one we're going to rotate around. So we're going to hold down Shift and rotate this one around. And you see on this new object, we don't have these uh, middle edges selected. If we select this uh, cube to be our active object, you're going to see now we're going to have those uh, middle edges to snap to. Now to do these next couple of operations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and turn on Live Boolean. And the reason I'm going to do that is uh, Spotlight has Boolean functionality built in. When the, what that means is if I hold down Alt and click Snapshot now, and then I do Shift Z to turn it off, you're going to see it's going to cut that object right through. If I hit Z again, you're going to see that's the original alpha. Essentially what it's doing is if I do Shift Z and I turn on Polyframe here, you're going to see that object is still sitting there, only that object has been added to my subtool stack and the subtractive Boolean is added. In fact, if I hold down Alt and then tap this first subtool we have, and we make that subtractive, and go ahead and turn on Polyframe, if we hit W, we can actually move that in, and we can use that as a subtractive mesh as well. So if you're familiar with the Boolean system, and if you're not, definitely go to my YouTube channel, watch the ZBrush 4R8 What's New, or if you're really just getting started with ZBrush, watch the ZBrush for Ideation series, and that'll walk you through most of the live Boolean basics. So let's go ahead and hit Shift-Z and bring everything back, and we can have, hit Z to make sure we're in gizmo mode. And we still have our alpha sitting here. Uh, if we want to, we can snap this to the middle. We can scale this up. And so we've hit snapshot without touching any modifier, and that just makes a new piece of geometry. We've done alt snapshot, which cuts through. If we do alt shift snapshot, that's going to do an intersection. So we do shift Z. You're going to see it's going to add a new polygroup down here. If we turn, turn on polyframe, you see it's made a new shape, and it's done an intersection mesh. So now we have this as our overall shape. Let's go ahead and hit a Z to turn that back on. And now if we move this shape over, and again, let's go ahead and rotate it down here, and we'll go ahead and scale it. There's a lot more things you can do with this, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm going to overlap this shape, and now this time I'm going to hold down uh, Shift and hit Snapshot. And you're going to see what it did. If I go into solo mode here, it actually made a new piece of geometry. If I go into Polyframe here and do Shift-Z, it made a new piece of geometry, but it added this shape to the selected shape here. So if I do Shift-Z here, and in fact, if I want to back this camera back, we can go back here to Draw. We can undo this camera back so it snaps back to where we were. And then we'll hit Z to go back into gizmo mode. And do Shift Z. If I want to undo this, I can hold down Control Shift, isolate this little piece, do Control Shift A, Control Shift Drag, and then Geometry Modify Topology Delete Hidden. And we'll go out of solo mode here and turn off Polyframe. So now if I wanted to add this piece of geometry to this one here, if we Alt Tap, we go out of Shift Z, we Alt Tap this mesh here. You're going to see it's going to select that original cube. So we'll, again, we'll do Z, and then again Shift, tap this one, do Shift Z. And it's not going to make uh, any difference because we have an intersection clipping it off. But when we've turned that intersection off, you're going to see it's added it to that original cube. Now this time, instead of holding down Control Shift and isolating it and inverting it and deleting it, what you can do is you can just hit Control Z, and that'll go ahead and get rid of that. We'll go back out of solo mode. We'll hit Shift Z, and we're back where we started.